today we are going to do the activities of unit 9 in your workbook. Can you remember the topic? We had enigma as the topic of unit 9. Find and color the five adjectives hidden in the word search which are related to the word enigma. Ugalanta adjectives pahak thoranati enama hebei e pahama related to the word enigma. Enigma ke na vachaneata sambandha vachanathamai thoranati enni. Let's try to find adjectives related to which word enigma. And duala putarata mataka enigma ke na vachane theruma. Api pupils book ke di kodak katakara. Therum ganimata apahasu. Pehedilikirimata apahasu. Vage tatviatamai enigma ke ne king adhasven. Can you see the word mysterious? Adbhut. In this, try to locate the word mysterious. I hope you found the word and from the word enigma itself you get the word enigmatic. Enigma ke na vachaneng hedana adjective eka thamai enigmatic. Therum ganimata pahadil kirimata apahasoi kyanika. Something similar to that. Can you see the word baffling? In this, here it is. Metanati in it? Therum ganimata. Apahasui pehendili ne vagia dahasa. A kit to him meana thaw vachanatino. Aker api pupils bookeke activities veladit pavichikara. Then putala hoya gana the tene puzzling kena vachanet metanateno. Then putala dana puzzle kena vachaning tamai puzzling kena adjective veka hadan. Puzzle kena noun neking puzzling kena adjective veka apita hadana pulwa. Eva game Tavamukata putala to metana pene. Enigma walata samband. Unusual. Samanya neti. Kina dahas. Usual. Kiwama pidana. Samanya deak. Unusual. Kiwama. A samanya deak. With these adjectives we found from here, let's move on to the activity. Activity 2 says construct. Grammatically correct, meaningful sentences with the adjectives you found in the above word search. First, we will write the words we found here. Puzzling, unusual, enigmatic. Baffling, and mysterious. Let's take these words and construct sentences. Can you remember we did about the Bermuda Triangle in the pupil's book? So let's write the Bermuda Triangle is a mysterious place.
since we wrote a sentence from this word, we will cut it and then move on to the next. Shall we take unusual? There was an unusual number There was an unusual number of people at the seminar. Seminar IK Asamanya Pramanyak Pirisahitya Kinak. We'll cut that and then we'll write baffling. There was a baffling look on his face, very frustrating, difficult to understand. Let's cut that and use the word puzzling. Eth bohma prashnar teakwage keneggi api hitamu. Api diha balagani hitia prashnar te lakuna king balagani hitia kenni. Eva gia da hasak ketiva sentence ka kliena wana api te lian na puluang. She looked at me. In a puzzling way. Now we have one word left and that's enigmatic. You can write a sentence like this. The old man gave the little boy an enigmatic smile. Shall we underline the adjectives? Mysterious, unusual, baffling, puzzling and enigmatic. And now we will move on to our next activity. Read the sentence quoted from crop circles given in the pupil's book. You have to read the sentences and identify something here. Let's read it first. It is said that crop circles appear every week somewhere around the world. The same idea is given in a different way. People say that crop circles appear every week somewhere around the world. What's the difference? Mukattami sentences deke tiyana venasa. Ekakin kiyanava, it is said. Anittekin kiyanava, people say. What's the difference? It is said kyanne mehema kya veneva. You have the explanation here. Passive voice. People say minisukiyanava. You have the explanation here. Active voice. It put up in the venasa. Active voice and passive voice. Ugulanda pe no metana is said. Ke wahama be verb eka kui past participle eka kui tena is said. Metana kaur hari kriya wak karana waki na dahasa etakota active voice seking tamai eka tina waki na pikian. 
it's very easy what you have to do just to change the sentences follow the structure given above and change the sentences given below into active voice it is said that itokota eka patang ganna vidyarthi na some people so we can use the word say here it is said that walking on crop circles is bad for health some people say that මෙතන ඉතුරු ටික වෙනස් වෙන්නේ නැහැ අපි වෙනදට කරන උදාහරණ වගේ සම්පූර්ණ වාක්‍ය වෙනස් කිරීමක් නෙමෙයි මෙතන තියෙන්නේ මෙහෙම කියවෙන වා කියන අදහස මිනිස්සු කියනවා නැත්නම් තව කෙනෙක් කියනවා කියන අදහසට වෙනස් කිරීමක් විතරයි some people say that මේ ටික වෙනස් වෙන්නේ නැහැ walking on crop circles is bad for health the message kiyana wachaneya wenuwata thawat wachana thiyena awasthawe hetiyata pavichchi karanna api e wadihath me tika liyala iwara wela balamu second one it is said that the wanted man is in the coastal part of the island wanted man api dannawane samahara welawata kenek hoya ganna nathi wenakota visheshen yam kisi aparadhayakata sambandha vecha kenek hoya ganna nathi wenakota api e gulanta kena wanted men e gulangwa soya ganimata awashyaya then ehema kenek coastal part ekey verala bada pradeshayake innawa kiyala kiyena එතකොට ඒකටත් අපිට කියන්න පුළුවන් it is said කියන එක say කියලා some people say the policeman say ඒ වගේ උත්තේ මොකක් වුණත් කමක් නැහැ මෙතන හැබැයි active voice එකෙන් ලියන්න ඕනේ මොකද it is said කියනකොට by whom කියන එක දීලා නැහැනේ එතකොට ඕගොල්ලන්ට ඕන මේ some people කියන එක මාරු කරන්නත් පුළුවන් ඒකම ලියන්නත් පුළුවන් it's the same you have to continue here the change happens only here the policemen say that the wanted man is in the coastal part of the island you can continue the same it is said that aliens do experiments on the other plants mekata tapita kiyanna puluwan people say එහෙම නැත්තම් අපිට ඔයගලන්ට පාවිච්චි කරන්න පුළුවන් මෙතන ඉන්වෙස්ටිගේටර්ස් මේ වගේන විමර්ශනය කරන අය එහෙම එකක් දාන්නත් පුළුවන් people say හැබැයි මෙතන verb එක තමයි වඩාත් වැදගත් is said එක say වෙන එක fourth one is it is said that many people are homeless due to the recent landslide etakota api te ekatat kiyanna puluwan people say apita visheshen kawura kiwada kiyala bye kiyala ekak nathi nisa thamai api me mata people say metana visheshen by whom kiyala deyak deela nathi nisa thamai api me wata පීපල් සේ කියලා ඇක්ටිව් වොයිස් එකේදී පාවිච්චි කරන්නේ හරියටම කවුද කිව්වේ කියන එක සඳහන් කරන්නේ නැතුව ඊට 
people say that many people are homeless due to the recent landslide langadi sindu echa naye amanisa hungak ayata nivasa himi vela kiyen ek it is said that three suspects were arrested for planning the robbery mokadda kiyawenne sekakaru thun denek three suspects were arrested attadangota arang tiyenawa monawata da for planning the robbery me sorakama selasum kirima sambandhen so we can say here people say that three suspects were arrested for planning the robbery now you can see another set of words api me it is said kiyen ek wenuwata api vistara karana de swabhave anuwa believed reported considered expected supposed wage verbs yoda ganna puluwan said kiyen wata wada मे विधि विश्वास किरेनवा मे विधि वार्ता वेनवा मे विधि सेलखेनवा बलापुरत्वेनवा ये वगे मे थर्ड फॉर्म मेकिंग मे वगे फास्ट पार्टिसिपल वेकाकन अदहसट गेलपनी विधि अभी पावचिक पुलवांग पैसिव वॉइस सेंटेंस क्लियन को what do you have to do in activity 4 use the words and phrases given below and construct passive voice sentences so we have to again remember the be verb and the past participle for the passive verb since the words are given it's easy for you believed king ravan used a flying machine it is believed that king ravan king ravan used a flying machine reported two people were wounded in the accident wounded thwalona anathurakadi it is reported that two people were wounded in the accident she considered to be wise eyawa selakenawa bohoma nuwanathi kenek widihata she is considered to be wise then we have the report expected to be written before next monday labana sandudata pera vaarthawa liya ivara wiya yuthui kiyana eka 
ඉවර වීම බලාපොරොත්තු වෙනවා කියන එක the report is expected to be written before next monday and then we come to the last example in this activity students supposed to clean their classroom school starts so let's write that students are supposed to clean their classroom before school starts in activity 5 followed by our passive voice activity we have to underline the correct verb before we try to find the answers i want you to look at a set of words api uttara liyanna issela metana thiyena yam vachana vargayak gana ape avadane yomu karanawa nobody somebody Nobody කිව්වම කවුරුවත් නෙමෙයි කියන එක කවුරුවත් නැහැ somebody කවුරු හරි anybody කිව්වමත් කවුරු හරි no one කවුරුවත් නැහැ everybody හැම කෙනෙක්ම everything හැම දෙයක්ම everyone ආයෙමත් හැම කෙනෙක්ම මෙන්න මේ වචන දිහා දැක්කම පුතාලට මතක් වෙන්න ඕනේ මේ මොනවද කියලා අපි ඒක ගැනත් බලමු ඉස්සෙල්ලා බලමු ආන්සර්ස් මොනවද කියලා මේ වචන ගැනත් විශේෂ මතකයක් තියාගෙනම Nobody knows no how the crop circles are made කවුරුවත්ම දන්නේ නැහැ nobody knows somebody has taken have taken a photograph of the flying saucer has taken metana tiyenne plural da singular da kiyala daannai kiyala den puthalata peenawa me uttara beluwama was were anybody there in the flying saucer was singular No one in our class has seen a flying saucer singular none of them are sri lankans none of them metana them kiyana nisa api kiyenawa sri lankans are sri lankans everybody looks look surprised about the crop circles everybody looks everything said about flying saucers was not true has have everyone got a ticket hem otama ticket ekak tiyenawada has everyone hem kenata ma ticket ekak tiyenawada both flying saucers metana both kiwama dekak ena adahasa nisa අපි වර් කියන ප්ලූරල් වර්බ් එක අන්ඩර්ලයින් කරමු බෝත් ෆ්ලයින් සෝසස් වර් වයිට් ඉන් කලර් සම් ඊස් ආ සම් කිහිප දෙනෙක් සම් ආ කියුරියස් අබවුට් 
crop circles. Samaharu crop circles can a kutuhaleak tienama denagan. Now you see with the words I have underlined the verb chosen is singular. Nobody, somebody, anybody, no one, everybody, everything, everyone. Now let's look at this kind of words again. What is this kind? You call them indefinite pronouns. Indefinite pronouns. Apitami vachana ima peena wane indefinite kena wane definite na sthirai. Indefinite kya ne sthira adhasak ne kya ne ka vachana ima tere na. What are the words you see as indefinite pronouns? Ogula dhanwa me vachana patan gaan ne minna me sum. Any, no, every, kiyana vachana bali. Ewa geema, me hema vachana yak ekkama, apita sambandha venama, body. Eva Gema one. A tech comma, a bit of Tavat, Pachania Cleana Pulang, thing. If you have a question, you can ask me indefinite pronouns. Something, somebody, someone. Then you have anything, anybody. Anyone. Then you have nobody, no one and nothing. Nothing. Nobody. No one. And here you get everything, everybody, everyone. A very important thing you have to remember here is May watch and some banding matakatiaga known, Ukakma vetaga dea teno. They are singular when they are used as a subject in a sentence. You have to remember that they come with a singular verb. Let's write that to remember. Api matakatiaga na liamo may indefinite pronouns, amatissima, eka vachana, akia tea keka. Pavichikaran Nikila. Kriya Padya Kika Pavichikaran Nikila. Indefinite pronouns are used with C 
singular verbs. I hope you remember all what we did here about indefinite pronouns. Eva putala ta matakai kela hitanawa pavichi karna kota me api katakara pudeval undin kalpana kala tamai uttarali anone emanatan katakarna kota pavichi karna oni. Let's move on to activity 6. Now you have an easy task. Lazy a cock the enne, group peck a catty take to la katakaran at Puluang. Activity six. Male, female, young one, and home. Let's start filling these columns. You have the word Eve here. So you have to write sheep. And here, Lamb and here you see bunny. It has to be male rabbit. There is a word buck also which matches here. But we will use male rabbit. And then female rabbit. Then we have horse. The female is mea and the young one is fool. Drake. Female is duck. And the young one is duckling. Cow. We can write here calf. And bull, cub, you can write lion and lioness, then the next one we have goat, nanny goat and kid. Peacock, peahen, pea chick. Here you have vixen. Fox is the male animal, and then cub, spider. Spiderling. And let's start filling where they live. What's their home? Sheep. You can write pen here. And for the rabbit, you can write burrow. And for the horse, you can write stable. For the duck's family, we can write the duck pond. And then bull, cow, calf, we can write shed, barn. For the lion's family, we can write tin. And for the goat's family, we can write pin or shed, lofting shed. For peacock, you can write that they live in forests and woods. And tin is given here. For the spider, we can write the web, the spider web. Next, we have idioms. Match the following 
idioms with their meanings. Then putala dannawa idiom eka king kiyana theruma. Adahas vena de apita kievapu gamamma therna de neve. Api kievala balamu me therum tika kohumada e therum galapanne kiela. Idioms pavichikarla liena kota unga class and vena ugulang liena de. We'll first read a few idioms and see whether we can match the meanings. The lion's share, let the cat out of the bag, put the cart before the horse, get all your ducks in a row, like a duck to water, a wolf in a sheep's clothing. And you have the meanings here. Let's try to match the idioms with their meanings without any fear problem kisima bayak netwa metening mokak wenna puluwanda seems to be harmless but really an enemy e can seems to be kiyana kota penne nan kisima karadarayak karanne wage habai attatama baluwoth sature to be well organized hondin සංවිධානාත්මකව වැඩ කරන අයට මෙන්න මේ විදියට පාවිච්චි කරන්න පුළුවන්. මේ අදහස එන ඉදියම් එකක් මෙතන තියෙනවා. To put or do things in the wrong order. වැරදි අනුපිළිවෙලට වැඩ කිරීම එහෙම නැත්නම් දේවල් තිබීම මෙතනින් අදහස් වෙනවා. The best largest part of something. යමක ලොකුම කොටස කියන එක. To tell a secret by mistake. Veradhima king rahasak kiyanek. Let's try to match. When you say lion's share, we can match it with one of these meanings here. The best and the largest part of something. Let the cat out of the bag. To tell a secret by mistake. Some people can't keep secrets. Some are in the money. Rahasa kiwata, ekatiagan in the bag. Kotan in the harikia vena. Himaita tamaiki anime. Let the cat out of the bag. Kiel. Etakota pita peno metana tava. Lacey em match karana pulangika. Like a dog to water. Then tara avik vaturata. Then mahama. මොනවගේ හැඟීමක් දෙන්නේ ඊටම පහසු ඊටම පුරුදු හැඟීමක් එතකොට පහසුවෙන් කරන්න පුළුවන් දෙයක් ගැන අපිට කියන්න පුළුවන් බයක් නැතුව without any fear or problem ඒ වගේම a wolf in sheep's clothing අපි සිංහලෙනුත් පාවිච්චි කරන්නේ බැටලු සම් පොරවාගත් වෘකේ කියලා එතකොට පේන්නේ නම් කිසිම කරතරයක් කරන්න නැති කෙනෙක් වගේ හැබැයි ඇත්තටම බැලුවොත් සතුරුකමක් කරන්න ඉඩ තියෙන කෙනෙක්. එහෙම අයගෙන් පුතාල පරිස්සම් වෙන්න දන්නවා කියලා මම හිතනවා a wolf in sheep's clothing is seems to be harmless but really an enemy. Then there are two more left for us. Put the cart before the horse. Then horse, Ashwayat, Issella, Karate, Dhanava. Itta ko tapita peyna yam kisi peradhi order ekak anupili valak tiyana kenik karana kriya. Avakata thamai ehima kiyana puluvaan kiyana. Get all your ducks in a row. In a row. Bohoma pili valat saangvidhanatma kava veda karana ayate thamai api medhe pavichi karan. Since idioms are very useful, in writing and in speaking, let's look at some more examples. Api tawat idiom stika diha balamu monavagi terum de evang in nikela. Getting a second wind. That means having energy again after being tired or worn out. Yamaking tamat mavida vata patvila in no kota pava. Never tat shakti matvila nagitina. 
අවස්ථාවකදී අපිට කියන්න පුළුවන් getting a second wind කියලා having your head in the clouds daydreaming not paying attention ඒ කියන්නේ අවධානයක් යොමු කරන්න නැතුව daydream කර කර ඉන්නයි කියන්නේ it's always darkest before the dawn darkest before the dawn dawn කියන්නේ දැසන එතකොට මොකද්ද ඒකෙන් කියන්නේ things get worse before they get better යමක් හොඳ ම තත්ත්වයට පත් වෙන්න ඉස්සෙල්ලා අවස්ථාවේ ඉතාම නරක දෙයක් වෙන්න පුළුවන් run like the wind to run really fast ඒකනම් බැලුවම තේරෙනවා සුළඟ වගේ වේගෙන් දුවනවා time is money ඒකනම් දැක්ක ගමන්ම ලේසියෙන්ම තේරෙන එක කාලය අපි නාස්ති කරොත් මුදල් නැති වෙනවා work faster or more efficiently ඉක්මනින් වැඩ කරොත් තමයි මුදල් ඉතිරි වෙන්නේ කාර්යක්ෂම ව ඉක්මනින් වැඩ කරන්න කියන එක weather the storm enduring a trial or hardship enduring කියන්නේ මොකද්ද දොළ පුතාලා දන්නවා අපි ක්‍රීඩා කරන කොටත් මේ endurance කියන එක බලාපොරොත්තු වෙනවා enduring කියන්නේ අපි දරා ගැනීමේ හැකියාවක් තියෙනවා කියන එක මොන වගේ අවස්ථාවක් දරා ගැනීමේ හැකියාවක්ද ඉතාම දුෂ්කර අසීරු අවස්ථාවක් දරා ගන්න පුළුවන් නම් එහෙම තැනකදී අපි කියනවා weather the storm කියලා you can't make an omelet without breaking some eggs දැන් omelet එකක් හදන්න බෑනේ egg break කරන්නේ නැතුව you can't make everyone happy දැන් මොකක් හරි හොඳ දෙයක් කරන්න යනකොට සමහරක් වෙලාවට එක්කෙනෙක් දෙන්නේ හිත කැඩෙන්නත් හිත බිඳෙන්නත් පුළුවන් ඒ වගේ අදහසක් තමයි මෙතනදී කියන්නේ you can't make everyone happy you can lead a horse to water but you can't make him drink අපිට යම් සීමාවක් තියෙනවා කෙනෙක්ට උදව් කරන්න පුළුවන් අපි මෙතන හැටියට කිව්වොත් අපි අශ්වයෙක් වතුර ළඟටම ගෙනිච්චත් බොන්න ඕනේ අශ්වය තනිය you can't force someone to make the right decision අපිට කාට හරි උදව් කරන්න පුළුවන් තීරණයක් ගන්න හැබැයි බල කරන්න බෑ ඒක ඒ පුද්ගලයා විසින්ම කරගත යුතු දෙයක් කියන අදහස select three idioms in activity 7 and construct sentences we secretly arranged a welcome party for our new teacher but subashi let the cat out of the bag hari ma parade me mokadda vela thiyenne kiyala balanna secretly arranged a welcome party alut teacher kenek kena kota lama ekathu vela bohoma rahasigathawa welcome party ekak piliganime utsavayak samvidhane kara den api rahasigathawa samvidhane karanne kenek godak satutata pudumeyata pat karanna ne surprise parties what has happened subashi let the cat out of the bag e kiyanne amataka vela atwara dimake rahasa eli kara kiyanika let's look at the examples we had and choose two more or three more to write examples let the cat out of the bag is used already we can choose like a duck to water which means without any fear or problem a wolf in a sheep's clothing seems to be harmless but really an enemy then we can also choose this get your ducks in a row which means to be well organized let's start writing
we can say we have to be careful when selecting friends because there could be wolves in sheep's clothing. Careful. Kiyanne mukadda pravesamin kalpana kariva karannone mukadda selecting friends yahaluo thora gani medhi. Then we can write the new student adapted to the school environment like a duck to water. What does that mean? Alut lamek avahama apikinama anugata venava kien tamung in a parisereet. Then me alut lamea adapted to the school environment like a duck to water. Alut parcel parisereet. Ita pahaswen kisima biak netua anugata una kieneka. What do we mean here? Our project leader always gets his ducks in a row so that the team members don't have to worry. Kandai me netam vyaprutte naikya gets his ducks in a row. Hemati sema harima sangvidahanatma ko pilivarata vedakan na nisa kandai me anit samaj kyanta vediya kalpadaan karan na deyak karadara venna deyak nehe kya nika. What's the next activity? Again, a very simple activity. You have done this before. Complete the following table. Masculine nouns and feminine nouns. Let's try. Man, woman, monk, nun, uncle, aunt, Husband, wife, actor, actress, nephew, niece, putara de matakaide, eking teruma, mukad de kela, nephew and niece kiani, sahodaregi, putana nephew. Sahodare gi ho sahodare gi dua nam nis. Lad, les, lady, lord, god, goddess, king and queen. Now you have filled all the blanks we can move on to the next activity activity 10 is to fill in the blanks with the plural form of the nouns given in brackets man hitana duwala putarata matakai kiyala api pupils book ekke karapu spelling rules word endings adding s adding es then when you have Y at the end of the word, sometimes you 
cut the Y and replace it with I before adding ES. Sometimes you keep the Y. A hammer a katama heto dila tibuna ape revision point tekaka spelling rules can a kela denakota pupils book keke. Evat mataka taraganam me uttaratikaliam. There are two bench in my class room. You know you have to add ES for benches. The blank baby are fed with milk. Baby, we have Y. You have to replace Y with I. The babies are fed with milk. Look at those two. Again, something similar. You have a consonant before Y. Therefore, you replace the Y with I. She ate three mangoes after lunch. Then we have the baby has three. Here you don't add S or ES, but this is an irregular plural. So you have the word teeth. Samani vidyata S E S dala pluralize karana vachane akne me irregular plural leka. So we have put teeth here. There were piles of box boxes in the storeroom. Activity 11 is about folk tales. Find a Sri Lankan folk tale and write your own version of it. First, we look at what folk tales are. Stories passed down verbally across generations. Paramparavin, paramparavata, apita denagana labina, kathandar, jana kathavata tamayapi, folk tales kela kyan. Write your version. What is a version? A particular form of a text, speech, story in which some details are different from earlier or later forms. It's your version, not an entirely new story, but something similar to what happened in the folk tale with slight differences. Shall we look at an example now? Before that, I want you to look at a few pictures. They show you different folk tales which are very famous in Sri Lanka. And we have chosen this as the story today, the folk tale today. But we are going to make a small change because the textbook tells you to write your own version. The farmer who went to heaven. Once upon a time, there was a farmer in a village. His life was hard, but he lived happily. He was about to reap his best harvest from his field. One night, he had a nap, though he was supposed to stay awake to look after his crops. Mukadde paragraphic in Kiwi. Once upon a time, Kamatika Davasaka, Punchimakal in the Lapi, story ka patangani, evi theatre. There was a farmer in a village. There may farmer kinikin no agamaka, Jeevite, Satutin Gatakano, Hebei, Tushkarata, Tino, hard. 
he was about to reap the best harvest කියන්නේ ne මොකද්ද හොඳටම ළං වෙලා තිබුණේ අස් වෙන්න නෙලා ගන්න හොඳම අස් වෙන්න හැබැයි එක දවසක් පොඩ්ඩක් නිදා ගන්න හිතුණා රෑ එළි වෙනකන් ඇහැරලා ඉන්න ඕන අවස්ථාවක එතකොට මොකද වුණේ the following morning he noted that a wild animal had eaten his crops he was very sad and angry pahuda dakka kavuru hari aswenna vinasa karala thiyenawa kiyala tama dukata pattuna tarahat giya he also saw that there were big round marks like the wangediya in the kitchen wangediyak wage hedeyak thiyena salakunu dakka then mukadda gamarala hitwi you all know that i am not here to tell the story i am here to discuss how we write a story like that otherwise i know that you all know this story he thought it was a work of wangedi because he couldn't think of any animal satek gen hita ganna beruna meka aniwaryema wangediyak visin thamai kare kiyala hituwa he told villagers to tie up their wangedi and the villagers did exactly as he said game hite poyat kamarala kiyapu widiyatama wangedi tika geta gaha gatta the next day when he went to his paddy field he saw the same thing ekama de dakka pahuda the big round marks he decided to stay up all night to watch stay up all night raili wenaka negatela inna thirane kara in the middle of the night suddenly a huge tusker came to the paddy field and began to eat the crops den dena gatta mokadda wenne kiyala honda dala dekak thiyena etek thamai avilla me wagawa palu karanne when the elephant tried to leave the farmer ran behind him and caught it by its tail dannawane putala pintore tibuna neka then the elephant took off to the sky ahasata giya after a long journey the elephant landed on the beautiful garden above the clouds wala kulu walin eha thiyena lassana garden eka mokad heven e vidiyata thamai jana kathawe thiyenne the next day they returned to the earth pahuda ava polawata he told his family the unbelievable story about how he went to heaven by hanging on to the tail of a flying elephant piyamba naliyegge tail eke ellila kohomada me divi lokata giye kiyala okkama pawalayak eka katha kara then hemo ta maase hitinawani on the following day his family was ready to go to heaven with him there were some villagers too family ekat ekkama paula ayat ekkama tawat game kattiya kavilla hitiya yanna to go to heaven with them e golat ekka divi lokeyan the farmer held the elephant's tail and then his wife caught the farmer's legs his child and friends also held the legs of others as a chain then dam welak wage ekata ellila yanawa okkoma metan indela chuttak samahara tengula wenas kara කතාව සාමාන්‍යයෙන් කියන විදිහට දිවි ලෝකෙට යන්න කලින්ම ඒගොල්ලන් වැටුණා. මෙතන පොඩ්ඩක් අපි අපේ වර්ෂන් එක හැටියට ලියනකොට දිවි ලෝකෙට ගියා කියලාත් අපිට ලියන්න ඕන පුළුවන්. පුතාල කැමති විදිහකට මේක වෙනස් කරලා ලියන්න පුළුවන්. මේක එක උදාහරණයක් විතරයි. They all went to the beautiful garden above the clouds. They enjoyed in different places. එතන කේක පැති වලට ගිහිල්ලා ඒගොල්ලෝ විනෝද වුණා. When they were flying back to the earth, ආපහු එනකොට the farmer told about a giant fruit he saw in heaven. දිවි ලෝකේ දැක්ක විශාල fruit එකක් ගැන කියන්න මොකද්ද කරේ? He then used his hands to show its size to others. ප්‍රමාණය පෙන්වන්න අත් දෙක පාවිච්චි කරා. At once all of them fell off to the haystack in his field the elephant never returned i hope you enjoy that folk tale even though you have heard it many times before we have to 
fill in the puzzle in activity 12. The last activity is based on plural form of words. We have done many plural forms. Can you remember the spelling rules? Me vilave putala matakragan only pupils book ke apikarapu spelling rules. When you make a word plural, what kind of changes you have to make? Apidan nama es demma, es demma, samaharak vilavata, why willing iveravena kota, I replace kara. Samara will have irregular plurals. Since we have done plurals many times now, this activity is extremely easy. We'll look at the words given for down and across. First one is man. We have an irregular plural, men here. For man, men. And then for tooth, again an irregular plural, teeth. Three down we have hammer and that becomes hammers. Just adding S. And then we have push adding ES. You can make the plural bushes. Five is foot. Again an irregular plural. Feet. Six bench. Adding es benches. Seven is wife. You can see the end. F. What do you do? You replace this F with V. So we can write here Vives V E S. Cut F E and add V E S. Snake, just adding S. Snakes. Nine, you have girl, girls. That's also just adding S. And 10 we have party. You have the Y ending. You replace the Y with I and add I E S. Story. Same rule applies. Stories. Leaf. Again, the rule is to replace F with V and add ES. Leaf, leaves. Thirteen, you have box, boxes. Fourteen shoe shoes. Fifteen sock, just adding S. Goose again an irregular plural geese. We have house, houses for number 16. 17, finger, fingers. 9, again, don't forget to replace the FE with VES. Knives. And finally we have basket, 
baskets. And that's the last activity. Now we have come to the end of Unit 9 Workbook Activities. Then Putala Unit 9 Neke Pupils Book Workbook Activities Okkoma Kerua. Kudak Deval Revise Kara. If you missed any activity, don't forget to do them. Complete your work. Practice them.